What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, I'm going to test the GameHub emulator on a Unisoc device that has a Mali GPU. This isn't even like a MediaTek or Exynos phone. It's an extremely low power budget Android device. And I'm going to test Windows emulation on this as well, since I've also received a lot of comments from Unisoc device users. And if you're doing heavy tasks or emulation, it's recommended to enable system virtual memory like on our PCs. Here, by default, it's allocated with six gigs of virtual memory. All right, the phone I'm using right now is powered by the Unisoc T615, or like the newer T7250, a slightly dated architecture with Cortex A75 cores and a Mali G57 MP1 GPU. It's a fast single core GPU, the same GPU found on the Helio G99, but there it's in a multi-core version. The phone comes with six gigs of RAM. So anyway, and let's get started. I already have the Game Hub emulator installed with the latest build version, and I've also imported the games. Let's go to its settings. A lot of you are also asking how to get games on phone. Like here, the installed games are copied straight from the PC to phone storage based on available free space. In my case, I copied them to this path, phones folder. Here I copied GTA 5 and Stray PC for the test. Let me show you its size. So this is GTA 5 legacy version, which is around 70 gigabytes, which includes all the data files and stuff. This is not cloud gaming or whatsoever. Like everything here is emulation based on the phone's hardware. Now, I'm going to test this on this low-end Unisoc device. Anyway, let's jump to the main part. These are the recommended settings. Set the lowest resolution to 600p. Go to compatibility and use Proton 10. GPU driver as system driver. Set CPU translated effects for better performance. Set VRAM limit to 1 GB. Don't go above that. That's it. Now let's load the game. I'll also turn off Wi-Fi to avoid interruptions. And it's still loading. Here, the CPU cores are very old, so it might take some time to load. If you have a Helio G99 or Dimensity 6300 or above, it will be fine, and that's the minimum requirement. So, all right, it started, guys. And here, the CPU usage is already going out at 100%. All right, all right, guys, this is crazy. This processor is even weaker than the Snapdragon 680, but still it's performing surprisingly well. The Mali G57, which is power efficient, is doing a great job even with its single core GPU performance. Well, the CPU is already maxed out, but it's still holding up. But well, this is the first mission. We'll have to see the open world performance as that will be the real challenge. Let's go to settings and graphic settings. Here, everything is set to normal at the DirectX 10 preset. Now let's load into the real world of the game. And there we go, guys, it's loaded. For the first time, it will lag a lot. During while loading textures, But now it's looking fine on this phone. We're getting a stable 10 to 11 FPS. The 
performance is quite similar to the NVIDIA GT 210 card on PCs if you remember. But if we turn off shadows, we might even get better FPS, but looks bad. So on this phone, also the phone isn't even overheating. So overall, on this device, the performance here is honestly is better than I expected. Sure, the CPU maxes out and struggles in heavier areas, but it still manages to run GTA 5 through GameHub at a playable level for what it is. The Melee G57 GPU can support up to DirectX 11, but I'd recommend sticking to DirectX 10 or even DirectX 9 settings. That way, you'll get smoother FPS. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.